got the radio plugged into the PC now with the programming lead. I've downloaded the programming software. So I'm going to open up the uh, the software. And uh, let's see if we can read the data that's on the radio. This radio has already been programmed up. There's a couple of errors in there, which is why I uh, I want to take a look at it. But I recommend anyway, whenever you buy a new uh, programmable radio, the first thing you do is to read whatever data's on it. Even with some of the new stuff, there'll be some channels programmed in and it can be interesting. So click on the little computer icon there and uh, we'll read the data and uh, we'll see what's there. Okay, we're almost done. And here we go. So this is what's on uh, what's on our machine. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if we can make this window any larger, which is a shame. But you'll see that the channels are programmed, they're split into groups. And they run from zero, which looks like uh, in group zero we've got, um, that looks like the EU CB band or the CEPT CB band to me. Let's go up to seven. I see they're all in five KC steps. So we've got 29, 680, 670, 660, where we'd find uh, FM repeaters. Starting at 620, I think they may even be a repeater on 610. Um, let's go into one of these channels. So if we uh, double click, we can see that channel 33, 29, 610. Um, it looks like we can enable a CTCSS uh, code here, but I don't think there's a board fitted in this radio. So I don't think this is relevant. You see, they're all set to 88.5. Um, because there is, well, we can set it to none. We'll see. Um, now, the important part that I'm looking at here for 10 meters, for the 10 meter FM part of the band, is we have a repeater setting. And we have minus 100k and that's the correct split for um, a 10 meter repeater you transmit the input is 100 kilohertz down from the output so that's fine on 29610 that's fine and i think similarly you'll see that on 29620 we've got that but what i don't want is on 29600 which is the fm calling frequency here we'll open that up and we haven't got a repeater split, that's fine. Um, what interests me is I'm fairly certain that when the radio switched on and it's on 29600, it's actually showing a minus as if it had um, a repeater shift, but it, it, it's not programmed in there. So I'm not quite sure why that would be. Um, and there's a 29690 there that's out of place so I'm not sure why that's there and that's got a minus 100k on it so the program is slightly strange um, these would be suitable as FM simplex channels let's just open one of these up and check that they haven't got a repeater shift on them and they haven't that's fine So actually, the programming doesn't look too bad here. I don't think we need to alter anything just at the moment. So we've got a little demonstration of what we can set. The parameters for each channel. Each channel has a number and it belongs to a, a group. We put in the frequency. We could set CTCSS codes, but as I say, I'm not certain, but I don't think this radio has the board in. We can enable and disable tone squelch. 
we can lock a channel out of a scan function we can set it to am or fm but we'll be also be able to change that on the radio when we're on that channel if we tick this button here it will lock the channel to whatever mode we program it in and if we want to set a repeater shift we'd click the rep enable and we could then set our shift so that's all pretty straightforward so if we go back and check the UK band I wonder is that um, locked to FM mode because theoretically it should be so let's just open one of these channels up and it isn't so we could lock that if we wanted to um, probably not a lot of point I mean the, the, the set is totally illegal on CB anyway but we'll tick that box but what we'd have to do and I suspect that's the only problem with this uh, programming is we'd have to go through each of the 40 channels and do the same if we wanted to do this um, so it's not really worth doing because it doesn't matter but just to show you how we can we can do that um, so let's have a look at the other functions we've got uh, on the sidebar here we're in the channel information section at the moment which is where our frequencies and channels are stored we have function setup we can set the display mode to channel or to frequency you can again uh, amend this on the radio just by one button press when the radio is on so it doesn't really matter what you set this to it's just where it will default to initially we've got a timeout timer uh, to prevent you having uh, really long overs um, we've got uh, different scan modes and the scan resume time I always thought the scan resume time on this radio is really slow so I might um, drop that to five uh, we can set the beep we can set the default um, step in the uh, VFO mode 5 10 100 kilohertz or 100 megahertz um, and we've got the CTCSS uh, settings here again so I'll just close that um, hmm, I'm not sure what that is reset initialize don't know okay we need to look up and see what that is embedded message uh, looks like this is perhaps the uh, the previous owner of the uh, of the radio now interesting enough I haven't seen this come up on the screen of the radio so I don't know again what the significance of this is I haven't noticed it come on when I power the radio up I'll look again so not sure what that is and uh Point zero two. So maintenance date eighteenth of the ninth, twenty eighteen. And you can see here the coverage of the radio is actually twenty five six one five to thirty one oh five. So it just misses out on the twelve meter armature band, which would be in the twenty four meg region. But again, a set like this would be useless on twelve meters because being only AM or FM. 12 meters is a very narrow band and we don't use either AM or FM on, on 12 meters so that doesn't doesn't matter that it's not included here okay so that was a quick look at the uh, the programming software if we were to have altered something here and I did alter a couple of settings on the FM lock to upload the information back to the receiver you click on the little radio icon here it'll give us the chance to cancel we'll just click OK and again it will uh, upload to the receiver so that's a quick look at the software for the TTI uh, TCB 5289 you can see the parameters you can program there's not an awful lot to it but it does enable you to set up each band as you want it and uh, the defaults as you want them thank you for watching and there'll be another video along soon bye for now